Cortex XOR is the industry's first extended security orchestration, automation, and response platform with native threat intel management offering. Security teams can take full control of threat intel feeds and indicator level management and gain complete visibility into the indicator lifecycle. Cortex XOR extends the power of automation and orchestration, real time collaboration, case management to threat intel management to serve security teams across the incident lifecycle, covering a wide range of threat intel feeds, including several ISACs, open source premium and includes native support for the high reliability Palo Alto Network's autofocus feeds. Cortex XOR's Threat Intel Management module includes an indicator repository that connects and correlates indicators across all alerts, incidents and threat intel feeds getting ingested into the XOR platform. This allows security analysts and threat hunters to use indicators to correlate incidents, create hunting operations and easily analyze incidents and reduce mean time to response. This also brings the capability to unify external threat intel data and inputs with internal incident alerts. From the indicators page, users can perform a number of indicator operations such as create an incident, edit an indicator, delete and exclude an indicator, export an indicator to a CSV or STIX file. The platform provides great degree of flexibility to slice and dice indicator data to accommodate individual viewing preferences of different team members. Users can perform search and query for indicators using one of the many available search fields. Some of the notable search fields specific to indicator include indicator type, value, reputation, first seen, last seen, source brand, source instances, expiration status, expiration, related incidents, tags, among others. Threat Intel Management module provides full visibility into the indicator lifecycle. Users can view granular indicator details such as indicator reputation, indicator reputation source, indicator status that shows whether an indicator is active or expired at any given point of time, indicator tags, related incidents, etc. Threat hunting teams can view indicator timeline that provides information on all events related to the specific indicator, such as indicator origin, change of status, sightings, indicator status change, along with date and source details. Threat hunters can also add comments for each indicator that adds context to the indicator lifecycle. The platform provides extensive dashboard and reporting capability on indicators and threat intel activities during incident investigation process. The Threat Intel Management supports a wide range of indicator types, including but not limited to CIDR, Domain Globe, IPv6, IPv6 CIDR, Account, CVE, Domain, Email, File Enhancement Scripts, File MD5, File SHA-1. The platform is extremely modular in nature that allows users to perform heavy customization. Users can create indicators manually on the UI or CLI using the built-in script or just mark a piece of data as an indicator. To help analysts automate indicator feed ingestion, the platform provides a new category of out-of-the-box integrations called Threat Intel Feeds, covering a wide range of Intel feed sources along with out-of-the-box playbooks. Using Threat Intel Management module, analysts can automate ingestion of Intel feeds from both external and internal sources, including structured and unstructured feeds. These out-of-the-box feed integrations covers several different methods by which Indicators are detected and ingested into the platform, such as feed integrations that fetch indicators from a feed such as Office 365, Palo Alto Networks Autofocus, Taxi Feeds, CSV, JSON, etc. The Threat Intel Management module can be used to manage individual feeds. For each feed, users can configure to enable or disable automatic fetching of indicators, select indicator subfeeds, connect to feed source by providing appropriate credentials such as API key and URL, assign the default reputation for the entire indicator feed, the supported values are good, suspicious, bad, and none, which means no default reputation. Users can also select a reliability score based on the most appropriate value. Select indicator expiration method and feed fetch interval. For each individual feed, the indicator expiration method can be selected from the supported list of values. Like all other supported integrations, post-configuration, users can test the field integration for success. The platform provides out-of-the-box content such as built-in indicator types, indicator fields, 
actions, and playbooks that helps in automating indicator enrichment process. This helps in making smarter incident response decisions by enriching every tool and processes. Security analysts can create custom scoring logic using Threat Intel playbooks and use this to automate their incident response. This helps security teams to take full control of Threat Intel scoring mechanism, bringing accuracy to security operations. Process indicators can also be exported using the Export Indicator Playbooks or Export Indicator Service Integration to automate Intel sharing with external sources. For example, automatically add malicious indicators to external dynamic lists or to block on firewalls and to add bad indicators to SIEM block lists. With Exo's Threat Intel Management Module, security analysts can now configure jobs that are feed triggered. Jobs can be configured on all feeds or specific feeds. Similarly, playbooks can now receive inputs from indicators query results. Cortex XOR's Threat Intel Management Module helps security analysts and Threat Intel teams to automate several of the use cases, helping them to dramatically reduce mean time to response. Here are some of the common Threat Intel Management use cases and scenarios. Many cyber threat intelligence and SOC teams are responsible for blocking known bad indicators of compromise, such as bad domains at the network perimeter using firewalls, web proxies, email gateways, etc. It is critical that the security team does not disrupt business by inadvertently blocking traffic to or from a known trusted business partner. For example, domains belonging to business partners or domains with known good registrar information should not necessarily be blocked. This can be achieved by automating indicator tagging and enforcement. Let's see this in action using the Threat Intel Management Module of Cortex XOR. This scenario can be implemented in XOR with the help of a job. Here is a feed triggered job called Detect and Tag Suspected and Trusted Partner Domains that runs every time the feed gets ingested. The playbook corresponding to this job runs every time the job gets triggered. The playbook lists all the bad domains detected from different sources, including external feeds and internal alerts, gets the who is information for each of the bad domains. It then goes on to identify whether the domain name value matches the domain names listed in the trusted business partner list. If there is a match found, it will automatically attach a tag to the domain name belonging to the business partner. Similarly, the playbook also extracts the registrar information for each domain. If the registrar information does not match a value in the whitelist, then a suspected tag is attached to the domain. Indicators in the indicator store can be searched based on the tag value set by the playbook. All the domains with suspected and partner domain tags. Bad domains with suspected tags can be exported using the export indicator service and exposed as a list of bad indicator values to be applied on a firewall EDL or an SIM block list automatically. Often sensitive and critical indicators of compromise are shared by highly reliable sources such as federal government or threat research reports published by other reputable sources. These finished threat intelligence products are most of the time shared as PDF reports. Security teams spend a lot of time in going through these detailed PDF reports and extract indicators of compromise and manually create incidents. That soon becomes a challenge in case of receiving multiple reports from different sources on a periodic basis. Using Cortex XOR's Threat Intel Management Module, security analysts and threat hunting teams can automate the extraction of indicators of compromise from ingested PDF reports, enrich incidents, and automatically create indicators in the platform post analyst review. Using playbooks, security teams can speed up the process and also achieve scale. Let's see this in action. Cortex XOR can ingest Threat Intel reports directly from an email or through manual upload. Every such ingestion creates an incident in XOR platform. The corresponding playbook runs automatically during investigation. The playbook performs series of checks to validate the report type, auto-assign the incident to an analyst, rasterize the PDF that helps analysts to view the report from within the platform, automatically mark it as an evidence, mark as no, create tags to easily identify and perform search, it extracts the indicators from the file. It also checks for file hash and creates all the indicators in Exo platform post analyst review. The incident information page captures all the relevant information for each individual investigation, such as the rasterized PDF file, list of indicators extracted from the PDF file. The playbook action and outcomes gets listed in the war room for analyst review. Anything marked as evidence shows up on the evidence board. 
that includes file metadata and indicators. On the related incidents page, multiple incidents are seen having common indicators. Finally, on the canvas section, security analysts can use the auto-populate button to view relationships between indicators extracted from the PDF file and the related incidents. Many times, new alerts getting generated from different alert generation sources have incident severity levels and priority that may not correctly reflect the actual priority that the security teams might assign those incidents post-investigation. This results in many resources wrongly assigned to this incident instead of being aligned to incidents that are of actual high severity. If the indicators related to the high severity incidents pose lower risk, then the incident severity needs to be automatically reduced to save the precious security analyst time that could instead be used on investigating actual high severity incidents that contain high risk indicators. This can be automatically achieved by aligning the incident severity with Cortex X source DBOT indicator score of indicators belonging to that incident. Let's see an example playbook in action. Here is a critical severity incident that has been ingested into the platform. The associated playbook automatically extracts the indicators from this incident, gets the DBOT reputation score for the indicators, and automatically changes the severity of the incident to low based on a custom logic. Based on the new updated severity level, the security analyst need not prioritize this incident or other incidents having higher severity levels. In certain situations, new indicators are shared involving a high-profile attack such as nation-state attack targeted at certain industry vertical. Under these circumstances, security teams are challenged to provide an immediate assessment to their management. They are generally required to report if their organization has had any exposure to any indicators. If there was an exposure, then was it detected and contained? An incident response process providing retroactive alerting helps meet security outcomes in this case. Let's see how security teams can achieve this in Cortex XO, leveraging the Threat Intel Management functionality. Security analyst receives critical intel from a trusted external source and creates a case using Cortex XO's case management functionality and enters a case name, assigns a severity, enters all the critical threat indicators received, and enters a value for the Threat Intel source field. The analyst investigates the case using the associated playbook that runs automatically performing a set of predefined response actions. The playbook extracts all the indicators from the case and automatically marks the indicators as a note and an evidence and allows analysts to create tags. The playbook further determines if any specific type of indicators were found. In case of domain type indicator, the playbook gets detailed who is information for all the domains. It checks domain reputation with the help of all the third party integrations, including Threat Intel feeds. In case of any bad reputation found, the playbook performs a quick search on SIEM to look for any past incidents with similar indicators and gathers associated asset details from the same. Analyst marks all these information as evidence and creates tags. Finally, new indicators are created in the platform. The same procedure is followed for all different types of indicators. Playbook automatically generates summary reports and emails to the relevant stakeholders. The incident information page captures and provides information on various parameters. The playbook action and outcomes gets listed in the war room for analyst review. Anything marked as evidence shows up on evidence board that includes indicators from the case, who is information, summary report, etc. The related incident page has multiple incidents with similar indicator that needs to be linked or marked as duplicate. Finally, on the canvas section, security analyst can use the auto populate button to view relationships between indicators and related incidents. The indicators in the indicator store can be searched based on the tag values set by the playbook. Lastly, Critical Threat Intel indicators with Critical Intel tags can be exported using playbooks or the export indicator service. Finally, a custom report for Critical Intel Threat Summary can be generated and viewed from the Dashboards and Reports section. During the course of cybersecurity operations and threat hunting processes, there are times when security teams can land up in situations where they need to add suspicious indicators to a temporary block list, also known as watch lists, for a limited duration. 
These are usually used for low confidence indicators that security teams may want to correlate against firewall, proxy, or email logs and want to keep the indicators added to the block list till the time they have been successfully investigated. This process can be complex, tedious, and may involve multiple teams as the lists need to be pushed to too many security devices from different vendors across the enterprise. Also, there needs to be a scalable mechanism to remove the indicators from the block list after some duration. Cortex XOR's Threat Intel Management module introduces the capability to implement dynamic block lists with the ability to attach TTL or time to leave and tags to each indicator that needs to be temporarily added to block lists. Let's see how this can be achieved in XOR. Security analysts can create a new case in XOR by entering the list of indicators that needs to be added to the temporary block list, provide a justification, and choose TTL or time to leave for the indicators, assign a severity, and optionally attach any relevant files. This creates a new case in XOR with a corresponding playbook executing automatically. The playbook extracts the indicators, gets the debot indicator score for each indicator, and optionally goes through a custom user-defined logic to decide whether the indicator needs to be added to the block list. If the indicator needs to be added to the temporary block list, then the playbook notifies the manager for approval. The playbook repeats the process for each indicator. For each action, security analysts can mark the outputs as evidence or a note, create tags, etc. If the manager approves the temporary block list action, then the indicators are added to temporary block list for the user-defined TTL duration. The incident information page captures all the relevant incidents and indicator information and makes it readily available for analyst viewing. On the indicators page, the indicators added to the temporary block list can be viewed by searching for block tag. Clicking on each indicator opens up full view indicator information page where analysts can get detailed, most up-to-date information on each individual indicator. There are two time-triggered jobs configured for adding and removing indicators to the temporary block list that can be extended to a block list on SIM and other enforcement points. One job periodically adds all active bad indicators to SIM block list and another job periodically removes expired indicators from the same SIM block list. The export indicator service can be configured to perform automatic EDL updates on enforcement points. Lastly, all the dynamic block and unblock actions performed on each indicator can be viewed on the timeline section of each corresponding indicator. This helps in getting full visibility on each indicator. To learn more about Cortex XOR, please log on to palo alto networks.com slash cortex thank you